Hey, what's up you guys? It is Ty, and today's video is one that I am super excited to be making. You guys may have seen that on my channel in the past, I have posted some original music. A little bit of tear on the bone chill and scare, I got everybody shaking in their chairs. I've always enjoyed making music, but for most of the stuff that I've put out, and songs that I've made in the past, I generally had very little to do with the actual production of the song. So for this video, I thought it would be really cool to challenge myself to learn FL Studio, which is a music production software, and to make a song from scratch, start to finish, all by myself. So I learned to make the beat, I wrote and recorded the vocals myself, um, mixed and mastered the whole thing, and made the music video. So you're gonna get to see all of that here, as well as the music video and the song itself, which I'm really excited for you guys to hear because the song is called Keep Going, and the lyrics, I, I really enjoy them. I think they mean a lot to me. And so I hope that you guys like it too. So without further ado, here it is. Oh Christ, this is the blurriest. What's up? It's Ty from the past making this song. As you can see, FL Studio is very complicated. I have messed with this program so many times and given up so many times out of frustration. But now that I finally have access to some professional comprehensive tutorials, it's actually not that bad. When you kind of know what you're doing, it makes the process a lot more enjoyable. And I'm really happy that I decided to do this. Okay, so I have finished the beat and I wrote out the lyrics. And now, <laughs> this is gonna be the hard part, is actually recording and mixing the vocals uh, because that's what can really make or break it. If the other two things are solid, you can still totally ruin it by like really fucking up the mixing. So I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to do that, trying to do that well. It's a little bit intimidating. Luckily, there are a lot of tutorials and resources on this stuff. And so I'm just, I'm gonna do my best. I also have to stand like directly in front of my computer to do this because my headphone cord <laughs> isn't very long. It's a little bit awkward, but Hey, we up in the studio, we up on our grind. It's every day, bro. I'm ill at ease, I'm unrested, disillusioned, unimpressed. Second guess, questions fester and best, you don't attest. I hit my head when I was little, now all of my thoughts are bangers, homie. If you don't agree, then kindly see my favorite finger. We'll see. Oh yeah, that's the best one yet. That's the best one yet. Maybe I should just keep the camera on me this whole time. Put the pressure on. I'm about halfway through the song now and I've just had to sit down and and just do this from my knees. Oh, this is this is a lot of work. Just finished up recording and it just <laughs> reminds me of how much I don't enjoy the sound of my own voice, but hopefully I can work some magic in FL Studio and master the vocals to actually end up sounding palatable. Oh jeez, I'm worried now cuz I t Hearing it in its raw form, I'm scared. Wish me luck. So, I think I just got it finished. We have it all right here. I had to call in the crust because um, even with new tone and like pitch adjusting, my voice just sounded too bad for like the singing part in the chorus. So we got in here. It, 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 there are still like some little things I know I could tweak, but honestly for my first time like ever doing anything in this program besides just like trying to make a beat and failing horribly, I'm fine with it. I think that it's okay. I'm actually really proud of myself for like learning so many different things about how to do all this shit, but I'm not under any illusion that I will be, um, you know, producing any major track soon. But it was a really cool experience and I'm glad that I did this because for a long time I've been intimidated by the program and uh, you know, making myself sit down and like make a song in it start to finish has been really cool. It's the day of the shoot. I woke up at 3.30 and um, I gotta be up there at five, so I gotta start getting ready, get all my props and stuff together. I have pretty much everything except a pair of gloves that I need. All right, I'm headed to the location now. Shaved my face, got ready, packed up all my gear, and Keaton is going to be, I don't know why I said it with such a hard T, but uh, Keaton is gonna be my camera guy today, and he's gonna film stuff for me, and he's meeting me up there. And I'm excited, the location's really fun, so you'll get to see it very soon. So we're up here at the shooting location. 
We are in a wrestling ring, even though it's a boxing music video. We're getting it set up, look at this. We got some, some world, uh, world champions in here with us. KP. What up, what up? In the house. This is my camera guy, Keaton. Hey, how you man? This is the owner of the ring. Nice to meet you. We're gonna have to get a little bit creative because of the space constraint, but I think we can get it done. <laughs> No boxing gloves, so we gotta figure something out. We gotta improvise. Jeez. That's me right now. <laughs> Turn off that kid. I mean, we're going to the sports store. Oh, the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Got the grills in. You ready to pay twice as much for the same shit? You know it. These are so expensive. Oh, punch. punch. Oh yeah. Oh, those. Those are it. Yep. Yep. My <laughs> fan. Great. <laughs> Business expense. <laughs> now we're gonna be able to start shooting the video um, right around the time when we were supposed to be done shooting the video. <laughs> okay, what we need to do is. Hey, what's up, you guys? It is time. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's time. So I like the idea of like, having this hard backlight. Okay. So if you want to get somewhere like, I'm almost like silhouetted where it's not super blown out. And stuff. Okay. Is it time to wrap it up? All right, we gotta go. So we're wrapping up the shoot, mostly because they're kicking us out. I didn't realize how little time we had here, so. Um, we're definitely gonna end up having to just work with what we've got and hopefully it's it turns out well. I'm not completely 100% confident with how that went, but luckily we have a white backdrop. You wanna get buckled up with me? Uh, we have a white backdrop up at, up at the Fit To Me space and so I'll be able to just sort of like fill in and get some additional shots for the music video up there. And um, yeah, I didn't realize that we weren't gonna have enough time to shoot. We had about two hours total in the space and one of those hours was spent looking for the boxing gloves because I know two people who have that same pair of gloves, but I couldn't, I couldn't uh, work it out to get it from either of them. So I had to end up going to buy them. And I was kind of thinking like, I don't know. I thought maybe at the last minute, one of them would come through. I should have just went and got them beforehand, but hey, you know, it's the price of being cheap. But yeah, so we ran out of time and like, it wasn't helping that people kept going and like looking in the window and just like watching us film. And so then I would kind of like get distracted and then we'd have to like restart a shoot. You know, that's just part of being a star, I guess. Okay, I'm joking. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna quit fucking around and go finish this video. So I rolled up to the Fit To Me space and Ashton's out here. <laughs> so now we have a helping hand on our music video. Yeah, this is not a Fit To Me exclusive. It's, but it's not the Fit To Me shirt, but it looks nice on a, you. This is a triple XL I got from the kids section at Walmart. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> See, exactly, that's what. This is why, this is why. This is, <laughs> yeah. We're up at the space now. I'm gonna try to get some additional shots. Unfortunately, we uh, forgot the speaker in our rush to leave, and now the speaker's up at that dude's boxing ring. And I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get it back, but I'm gonna have to at some point. What are you thinking? Nothing?
I'm sure we have enough now. And oh. that's a wrap. Wrap on the music video shoot. Now we move on to the fun stuff. The editing, yay. Editing is going well, sort of. As expected, I don't have a ton of coverage. I, I'm able to put together, like right now, I have an okay draft, but I just don't have as many shots to work with as I was hoping to have. Um, as is the case with anyone who has ever shot any sort of video project, it always ends up taking longer than you would expect. So having less than an hour of actual shooting time in this space uh, left us with <laughs> a lot to be desired as far as footage goes. But, you know, I, I'll be, I'll, uh, I'll make it work. I'm gonna make it work. I couldn't figure out why I was so sore today and then I got to work editing this video and I remembered why. Good. Good. Yeah, that was perfect. Aside from the issue of not getting as much coverage in this space, as I had wanted to. We had another problem come up. Really oh my god. Like, yeah, it looks good. Or was that a bad, oh my god. What? Could have been bad, could have been okay. What? So about a third of our footage is filmed in a completely different color profile. So now I'm gonna have to get pretty creative as far as the uh, color correction goes. It's gonna add a little bit of extra work to that. So editing is going just about how editing goes. Exporting the edit right now, I, um, I think I've done about all I can do. It's one of those things where like, when you've been editing the same thing and watching it over and over and just kind of changing small things here and there, it's really hard to tell it, it, how it even looks. Like, I don't even know if it looks good or if it looks bad. I put a lot of effects on there. I don't know. I like the glitchy stuff. I think it keeps it interesting since we didn't get a ton of different shots. So I think I was able to work pretty well with what I had. And now, we'll see. I'm gonna watch this edit and then see if there's stuff that I should fix or if it's gonna be good enough for me. All right, so I just watched the final edit back and I like it. I'm happy with it. I think that I definitely hit the sweet spot with the editing uh, between just the cut together clips, uh, which seemed very like flat and boring. But then also at the same time, like not going too overboard with the special effects so that it's just completely indistinguishable from the original footage. Um, I think, you know, I, I found a good spot in there. Let's move on. And that was the process of me making a song and music video myself for the first time ever. One that I found very enjoyable and interesting and exciting and um, one that would not have been possible without our sponsor Skillshare. As we know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in tons of fields. And this includes FL Studio, the program that I use to make the beat and make the entire song. Also classes for making music videos and like tons of other classes in different fields like business and technology and other creative things. So it's definitely a really awesome resource for learning just about anything. The premium membership gives you access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields uh, so that you can learn more, expand your your database <laughs> that is your brain and just you know do what you're passionate about do what you love like i mentioned at the beginning of the video learning to create music and produce beats has been something that i've been interested in for a long time but as an adult who, who works and is always busy i'm always doing a video or starting a company you know I, it never feels like the right time to pick up an entirely new skill but I decided to challenge myself for this video and I gave myself a timeline to learn something that I've always wanted to learn. And I did that and it feels really nice. And so I'd like to thank Skillshare for that opportunity. Um, I utilized their FL Studio tutorials and went into FL Studio with very little knowledge of how any of it worked 
and came out with an actual, like, real song. And that's a really good feeling, and it's one that I hope you guys can also experience. So if you're interested in getting Skillshare, make sure you use my code linked in the description because the first 500 people to click will get two months entirely free. So I would like to extend this opportunity to challenge you guys to also do what I've done and think of something that you've always wanted to learn, give yourself a timeline, and challenge yourself to do it because it's uh, it's pretty cool. And of course, I just want to thank Skillshare as a sponsor on this channel because as a trans man and someone whose content is sometimes seen as like... I've had some pretty nightmarish experiences with other brands and Skillshare has always been just super chill and super fun to work with. So please go show them some love. Thank you guys for watching and supporting. And without further ado, again, uh, here is the music video. Yes, I can, and when losses, I've had a handful. When I'm betting on myself, then I know that it's no gamble. I'll go all in on a dream. I make believe, then make it happen. Make a difference, make a mill, make no excuse until I have it. I'm feeling bigger and invigorated. Got winner workflow, and my wishes are my mission statement. Might not be banking, but I'm hella fucking elevated. The fakes will pay, but my people will know they're advocated. I keep them captivated, my BD activated. Clear the fucking path, I made it. All my efforts concentrated on the plots I formulated. Love the game and consummated. I've been running laps. On your ass, not even caffeine. I had to say, I'm feeling good today. I just had to say, I just had to say, I'm ill at ease, I'm unrested, disillusion, unimpressed. Second guess, questions best or in best, you don't attest. I hit my head when I was little, now all of my thoughts are bangers. Homie, if you don't agree, then kindly see my favorite finger. And I don't mean to come off cocky, I've been doubted and shouted at all these efforts to stop me. And despite all my problems, I do not see it as probably on me all day. I'm going until the day that I'm dropping. Soar or be sore when you're taking a leap. And yes, I've fallen before, but I always land on my feet. I cannot wait until I'm sure, I'm only sure of one thing. So I keep falling down the rabbit hole until I'm 60. And that is it. We are done now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring. Don't forget to click that link first. 500, get two months free, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.